Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a simple technique to make crumpled paper from scratch. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Call up your gradient tool and choose either the reflected gradient or the diamond gradient. For this example, I'll use the diamond gradient. For the blend mode, choose difference. Drag out medium to long lines all over your document numerous times until there's an interesting complexity of intersecting tones. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Emboss. The angle is 135 degrees, the height is 3 pixels, and the amount is 200%. Press Ctrl or Command plus L to call up your Levels window, and slide the input highlights to 152 and the midtones to 0.91. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and drag out a rectangle across your document. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut out the rectangular selection from the background and copy it to its own layer. Go to the new layer icon and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This will make a new layer below the active layer. Let's fill the layer with black. Since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click on the crumpled paper layer to make it active and call up your polygonal lasso tool. Drag out lines that for the most part follow the contours of the shadows and highlights on the edges of the paper. It doesn't have to be exact. Once this work path is completed, click on the Paths tab and click on the icon on the right. Then click Make Selection. This makes a selection of the work path. Click on the Layers tab and press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the original paper layer and place it on its own layer. Go to the original crumpled paper and click off its eyeball to hide the layer. Now we can see the paper after we cut it out using the selection that we made from the work path. Let's rename this layer Crumpled Paper. We're ready to give our paper some perspective Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up the Transform tool. Then go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Click on a top corner and drag in. This moves both top corners the same distance at the same time. Press Enter or Return to accept the transform. I want to decrease the height of the paper by lowering the top. To do this, I'll call up the Transform tool again. Go to the top middle of the transform and drag it down. To reposition the entire paper, click on it and move it. Let's change the black background to a gradient. Click on it to make it active and call up your gradient tool. Click on the linear gradient icon and change the blend mode to normal. Go to the middle about three quarters up and drag a vertical line down to the bottom and release. Make a new layer below the top layer and we'll rename it Shadow. Call up your brush tool and we'll choose a size of about 20 or 21 pixels. The opacity is about 45 percent. Go to the bottom left corner of the paper, press Shift, and drag across a line to the opposite corner. Using these techniques is a simple but effective way to create a crumple paper effect from scratch. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.